Make for East Pool. Now we go, but before anything, I feel good, boy. Head to I don't know how many times I've pet Torgal, but he deserves everything. I love animals. Oh, this is so nice. So cozy. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You, you're Clive Rossfield. Do I know you? <gasps> huh? Who? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. Doc's wife. Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> oh, she's so happy to see us. Oh my god, that is so sweet. What a sweetheart. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Anything is fine. Piece of bread is fine. What can we, we do? I mean, we saw Murdoch being burned to a crisp. When we turned into Ifrit. You have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. Oh my god, he feels guilt. It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... and that is guilt in his voice. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Does she live alone, too? Do you think you will stay here? In Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Oh, we probably Alabama's know who Majesty, that is. The Emperor of Sambrek heralded a great many changes here. Yes. The woman knows how to climb. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Wait, Clive didn't know? Clive, we saw this. That. I... Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, this is guilt. Clive. Now he knows. Oh, I thought he knew. I My for sure child. thought he knew. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. How's he gonna sleep now? Oh my gosh. You couldn't control it. You didn't even know what was happening.
Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Hilt. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. He's also had a rough life. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. So sweet. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Live? Lean in, my dude, lean in. Do that. Okay, maybe it's we should not the rest. time right now. Right. I mean, they're both sad. Good night, Clive. And Clive probably doesn't think he deserves well. Jill. Because of all the guilt. Oh my god, my heart breaks for the both of them. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just outfit. like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke. He's so I handsome! In summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah.
Invictus mit Higher Cross. Before we to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Wow, look at his outfit. I fear that the old road oh, to Phoenix Gate was lost to the blight many years ago. Have care out there, both of you. And the sword just fits into it all. Oh my god, so beautiful. I love that scene in the shed. It was so freaking beautiful. It was such a beautiful moment for both of them. There was so much guilt and sadness. And loneliness too. And just how vulnerable they both could be with each other. Especially Clive, like being a man. Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. It does really have its charm. I think everyone should show their vulnerability. I mean, we aren't robots. And I think men showing vulnerability is so it's so stigmatized today like men can show vulnerability toward their friends even that are male no bad at all that's not a good thing we'll make a master i mean you need to talk about the problems uh, Hannah Murdoch, wife of Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army. Since her marriage, she has resided in the Murdoch Manor in Eastpool, remaining there even after her husband's death at Phoenix Gate. She gladly welcomes Clive and Jill into her home, going so far as to gift Clive a set of clothes that once belonged to his father, a reminder of happier times that she would rather lived on that mouldered in moldered in a closet yeah i of course clive wouldn't know what happened to murdoch he doesn't remember anything an imperial bearer turned deserter he and his childhood friend jill journeyed to their homeland of rosaria to learn the truth of the events that shaped their histories their path takes them through the village of eastpool where they meet with hannah murdoch wife of the late lord commander he presents Clive with a set of clothes that once belonged to his father, and he looks damn good in them. It just elevated his whole look. I mean, he was already beautiful, but now he's everything. A hamlet located in the eastern part of the imperial province of Rosaria. It was once surrounded by fertile farmland, but the southward creep of the light eventually drove out most of its inhabitants. Hmm. That's sad. It's so idyllic. Sweet little village. Surrounded by the ocean. We we'll just check Mars around before we make our way to the Phoenix Gate. We already activated this one when we came through. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. We could live here, right? Such a cute village. Well, aren't you dressed up smart? Especially for a bearer. Proper little prince you look. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Proper little prince. Love that. After that scene in the shed, I think that Clive might just become one of the best protagonists. If he keeps on being himself and just being this kind-hearted guy, then he's 100% gonna be one of my favorite protagonists, if not the most favorite. 
We'll just see how he handles everything else. So far, he's been doing so good. He has such a kind heart. And he feels so human. Right? They definitely took their time with his character. If you're buying, I'm selling. And uh, no, we don't need a new sword. The tie and cross? No, no, no. Oof. Well, we're not using Rook's Gambit. Not yet, anyway. Power shells we don't need. But we could sell them, you see? Safe travels. <laughs> if we ever are in need of money, y'all know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just die, so I have restocked my potions and sell them. Die and restock my potions and sell them. <laughs> you? Those are Elwins. By the flames. Who are you? You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. We'll treat them good. My bearers. Are they imprisoned or something? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. But the hideaway. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but it's still, too sweet i would ask a favor of you a small mercy <sighs> if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to archduke elwyn i don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. 
It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Then we'll do that. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very you different, are. you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. We look like the perfect couple, Jill. With Torgal by our side. Our little child. A happy family, the three of us. Where do they want me to go? Oh, over here. Then I will... I wonder who it is. Is it someone we recognize, maybe? He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. How about the lady over here? Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Pole, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies... I can imagine. Up, ...even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Waiting for something? Is it us he's waiting for? Oh my gosh, in the conversation I couldn't stop thinking about how well they match, Clive and Jill. Look at them. I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts i'm sorry oh he worked in the kitchens at rosalith castle back in the day still thinks he's there now <laughs> you'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the archduke living in a dream he is but better there than here i suppose can't imagine the viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer can you no anyway You'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. I wonder if it's the bearer at the beginning when Clive... Hey, hold on a mo. What? Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taking the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with them. Patrick, okay, then we will. Keeper. Thank you. We will. What if it's the bearer then after the training with Murdoch? For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Oh, he's so sweet. Just thinking about that. It's such a little thing and he's still thinking about, like, making trouble for her. Aww. What a gentleman. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? 
Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must is he in be trouble? Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. He only has one glove. Is she turning ah, to stone? So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Sounds like he might have. Yeah, about what I was saying after the training with Murdoch in the first part. I'm thinking that maybe this bearer might be the one that the, Drink up now, <laughs> my darling. You know, when he was holding on to Still a basket outside. with with apples, and an apple that. just rolled down the stairs. Might that be the same guy? And he just from that moment on just had a very very good memories of Clive and his father. You no, know, because helpful. He picked up the apple for him. I don't remember anyone else except for that guy. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. It doesn't really resemble him, but Company. they said he was older. We can't lead them to the. I don't remember how they old. to die. Agreed. I don't remember how old he was. <sighs> now let's protect him. Over here. Sick of toggles. Get him. That's enough. There, boy. Bye bye. Any more? New enemies. You know what to do. Keep your distance, boy. Get him. Get him, boy. So if you dare try to attack the old man. Farewell. Now let's see who is. If we ever met with him or not. Did he Are have the same right, clothes? I don't know. Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came. I'm... Wait. Not who you think. Clive. <sighs> he is. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you... Wait for me in Eastpool until my journey is complete. 
I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. So loyal. Yeah, the bearers under Rosarian rule. They be totally different. They're so loyal. Thank you, both of you. You've been and treated much better. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid. Who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time. Regarding the future of the village. And what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Such a sweet man. Everyone's been really sweet in this village. Must have been so nice for... For Clive and Jill. Make for Phoenix Gate. Then we will. Bye bye, everyone. Oh, it's this way, right? The uh, Viserengency? After the incorporation of Rosaria into the Empire. Emperor Silvestre elected not to rule the new province directly, but to make of it a viceregency with Rosalith as its provincial capital. Viceregency? Viceregency? Probably the word. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll be back! <sighs> Oh. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Oh, we can't use any... Any skills here? I can't use Phoenix Shift. So that's what happens. Everything is just dead here. Seem to be something over here. What's, What's this? this? Another relic of the fallen. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe it'll be activated later on. <laughs> like that other relic. Can we not pet Torgal? Why not? But that's not a magic ability. 
Why? I feel like something will backstab us here. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. What a contrast. Whoa! Oh my god, I thought something would just hop up. All the greenery used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. I don't want everything to turn into this. We need to do something about it. We need to do something about the blight. Dim obelisk. There it is. Phoenix Gate. No good memories. Where it all went wrong. Don't blame yourself. Come on, Clive. He wants to help him. It's time to discover the truth. curious about what's gonna happen over there what will we find uh, there's no missions here lady hannah has always been so kind to us we should do something for her in return of course did we make you get your fancy new clubber then where can i get some <laughs> Your outfit is fine. Don't even change it. I love it. Oh, nice cloak. <laughs> nice cloak. Thank you. you I think quick? so too. Well, I ain't the cook. Am I? Look. You got anything to... We already talked with him. What do you want? Hmm. But we can't upgrade the Invictus. And? Just head back now. Wait. We just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. Oh. I was thinking maybe we should read some. But you know what? Let's head into Phoenix Gate. And I'll read some next time. Very, very curious about what will happen here. What are we gonna find? Everything's in ruins. <gasps> oh, he's such a gentleman. Oh my gosh. It's almost as if time. And it's the bare minimum. Still. 
I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. There's something there, or was he just reflecting of the ashes? Let's have a look around. Even the ashes are triggering him. Oh my, this is gonna go for our Clive. All of them. Uh, the ruins of Phoenix Gate are still and silent, much as they were on the day after this disaster 13 years before. Yet amidst the shattered stonework and blackened beams that Clive recognizes only too well, he catches sight of something entirely unexpected, the hooded man he has long been chasing, desperate to uncover the truth. Clive and Jill pursue the figure into the catacombs. Did we miss something? I didn't see a man going into the catacombs. Could anyone? What? Did Ifri do this? Oh man. Shit. Did we miss a scene because I went to the hideaway and then over here? Maybe I did. No. What is it, Togo? Clive. What? Him. Or maybe I didn't miss anything because he's now he's going into it. Happened. I have to know. Oh my gosh, any loot before we go in? Are we ready? And is it Margrace, Joshua, or the illusion we saw in the beginning? The not so good illusion. I think there's a good cloaked guy and a bad cloaked guy. That's what I'm thinking right now. Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. So was it Joshua slash Margaret? Supposed to... Because the cloaked man isn't in here. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. And listen to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apoditry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Couldn't we also open Where it? The hell I mean, did we he have. Go? Perhaps he went inside. Then that he would mean it's have. Joshua. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. You have it. Let's go. 
This is turning so interesting. I don't know what to believe. Or maybe that guy, Margaret, isn't Joshua. It's just a guy who really resembles him and he got the Phoenix's power? Like it was manifested into his body instead. Thank you. He just Joshua. awakened from. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. Let's go. Why am I nervous? Why does this make me so nervous? And should we be thinking about what if it's not Margrave or Joshua or the good guy? Phoenix Gate. The remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860 on what came to be known as the Night of Flames. The castle's invasion by some Breck assassins and the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. Ancient ruins lie beneath and are reached by means of an underground pathway. Prior to Rosaria becoming an imperial province, the gate was of great importance to the people of the duchy, being the site of the rite of ancestral communion. Okay. But I'm thinking, what if, what if this is like the bad cloaked guy? I think there is a good and a bad one. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. And maybe he's trying to trick us into going through here and using our Eferit icon for his own good or something. My gosh, this is so cool. Ruin hardly call it a ruin it's perfect like it was built yeah. yesterday what are these Have you seen anything like this on the ground we're going to be careful there's something about these rocks here that looks so suspicious. Oh, we triggered something now. Jill. Oh, an elevator? <laughs> oh, I knew it. Something, something. The freak are these? What do we do? Fallen spiders? The usual. Fallen relic spiders? What is this? <laughs> fallen bug. Did the fallen distance look like this? Get him! What if that cloaked vision we saw is a fallen in disguise as a human? Oh, that's a big one. More trouble. And an orb. Defense node. Is it a defense node for these guys? Oh my god, I didn't even see they were so many. Sick of trouble. Get him. Give them all you've got, boy. Well, they really didn't want us in here. How can these things still function? How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Interesting. It's like we're on a different planet or something. Oh, wow. Incredible. We're so far up. 
Why is it so huge? Why so huge? Isn't this where we fought the phoenix? Yes, it is. When we were Ifrit. No, we were playing as the phoenix. This is where we were, right? <laughs> My memory doesn't fail me, we were. Don't let them get away! That's enough! Die! Sick of Toggle! We had a chest like this. In the. Was it that Sorrow Wise? I was like, huh? What's that kind of chest doing here? It was by the fallen ruins as well. Echoes. Strange clockwork constructs often encountered in fallen ruins. The question of whether or not they are truly alive is open to debate, as they do not appear to require water nor do they feed on the flesh of their victims as bees do and seemingly exist solely to protect their habitat from intruders. All echoes are encased in protective plating that is made from the same material as the ruins and thus cannot be destroyed. Though repeated blows will cause individual plates to dislodge, eventually causing the entire construct to collapse on itself. Interesting. Wow. I need to know more about these fallen ruins and the fallen people. Everything. This is so interesting. I have so many questions. I need answers. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this is so cool. It kind of has a little bit like Castlevania vibes. I just like how how gothic it looks. Looks like it could oh. take a beating. Then let's give it one. <laughs> Good one, Bill. <laughs> She's sassy. I love that. You know what? Get them all you've got, boy. Oh my gosh, missed that one. Jumping over it. Sorry, look at it. And it has that Star Wars sword. What's it called? A uh, lightsaber. Uh -huh, Neil. <laughs> Love that. What more guardians are here? What are we gonna find here? What kind of truth can we find? Let's re jump straight into it. Smartly. Does any of this make sense to you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. What if he doesn't let us leave? I have a feeling that... That either is the evil hooded man. Which I believe. Or... Joshua, since he's a phoenix. But the evil guy could probably like just... If he's an illusion, he could just go straight through it. 
He could be tricking us in here to do his deed. For him to get something much easier. Hmm. I do not know. The only thing we can have are theories. Oh my gosh. Whatever they are. I, I remember these guys. You're in every, every single Final Fantasy game. Get away. I not get rid of them. Stay down. Get him, boy! Don't let them get away! We were about to die there if I didn't back off. Sick of Togo! Good thing I did. No chest. Let's head over here then. Would Joshua I just love the textures? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Probably. So, the enemies are not... ...are not tricked by our Phoenix abilities? Well, we end up this time. Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking indeed. Another one. Fallen Guardian. Oh! There's something to decide. Distance, you take care of those, and I'll take care of this big guy. You know what you're doing. Come on. Get him. Get him, boy. Get him. It's almost better when I'm close to him when he does that. Sick of Except for this one. Ah. Should have backed more. Oh god, there's so many. Get him. There's so, so many. Back away from me. He's doing important stuff. But I cannot die here. I need to get to the hooded man. I need to get some truth. Stay away from me! Get him, boy! Sick of Toggle! Here we go! Everyone dislodged into pieces. Look at this. It's so cool. Uh, anything we're missing here? No, I don't think so. But this place is so freaking cool. I just love the architecture of it. I love the texture. I love the shapes of it. And every single mechanic that's 
that's in the rooms. It looks so majestic. Of course, there has to be like some kind of boss here, right? There has to be. Okay, this is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.